Hi guys! Today I'm checking out a new upcoming animal survival game called Untamed. The game is in a demo stage at the moment and it is free to download in Steam, so you can check it out as well. Now a little bit about the game. It is planned to be a multiplayer survival game and you play as a unique creatures that live in a world of overgrown ruins. You can customize your character with unlimited color combinations and marking system. The aim of the game is to grow, form packs or herds, and defend your territory. Bland mechanics are territory claiming, food storing, then decoration with bits of nature and found artifacts, territory defending and finding treasures that increase your stats, and fighting world bosses. And you can also steal items from other territories. The dev team has 8 people working on the game. I will link the game's own webpage, Steam page, and Discord server down in the description box below. Make sure to check those out and give the demo a go. Like I said in the beginning, this game is a demo, so there is missing mechanics and audio. There can be bugs and features that aren't in the game yet. Let's check out the game, Salvi. Here is the character customization. Uh, at the moment you can only play one creature. The colors are unlimited. You can use whatever color you desire. You can change the contrast. You can change the reveal. There's markings. You can have bicolor eyes, dorsal stripe, scale fade. There's fade for main body. You can rotate the creature down here. Or you can let it auto rotate. You have random eyes as well. Which looks good. There's so many options. That's nice. But I already have my own design. So let's spawn in. You start as a small, but the growth is seamless and very, very fast at the moment. It is for testing purposes. I think they're gonna adjust the growth for the game when it is out. Even though it's uh, seamless, it's uh, kinda choppy. But that's probably gonna change in the future. Let's just grow. This is the main spawn area. map looks uh, pretty for a demo. It's a very pretty map. Design is good. Oh, the water looks really pretty. That's nice. Uh, with C you toggle the walk and uh, trot. So this is the walk speed. There is no turn radius limit at the moment. As you can see. So the movement is very sharp. And unnatural. But they're probably going to fix that later on. Here is the trot. It's very dandy. 
here's the run. And then we jump. Hmm. I think the jump uh, is kind of slow, actually, when you fall, I mean. The fall is very slow. Yeah. Very slow. Kind of like the jump, but I think they need to work on it. I like that part, when it puts its uh, hind legs, like, uh, you know, to be ready for the impact. Like that. That's nice. We rest with H. There we go. You get up uh, by pressing H or vast keys. We have a bite. That's the left mouse button. Right mouse button is kick. It doesn't uh, use stamina for either attack. It's gotta reminds me of a show dog, actually. <laughs> that walk. I'm a show dog. I'm very pretty. M is for map. You have to hold it. It shows you in the map, as you can see, that uh, like a drop shape over there. Let me show you. I'm moving. You can see the drop moving. That's us on the map. One thing I don't like is the chat box. Because it's just constantly showing this chat box. But they're probably gonna do something about it in the future, let's face it. So yeah, we can eat uh, bushes like these with the flowers. Or we can eat meat. Uh, you can respawn with uh, K. There you go, there's my ragdoll. Oh, I spawn in a different place. But with T, you can teleport to the main, sp main spawn. There's my body. I can't grab it. G is to grab, but I can't grab it. But yeah, you can eat meat. You don't have to eat bushes, so you can basically kill other players and eat them if you want. If you want to be a murderer. <laughs> yeah, the world seems pretty empty at the moment, but that's uh, normal for the de demo because there is uh, no AIs and there's only one creature you can spawn in and of course player base is uh, not very high on de demos but yeah that's that's normal i'm used to it oh yeah let's check out the swimming there we go it's quite good swimmer no oxygen at the moment so you have unlimited oxygen you can live Underwater with a uh, sift, you submerge. And with space, you get up. It's quite good swimming animation, actually. There is no swimming sound, but that's uh, okay. Like Milo told me, one of the devs uh, in Discord, I accidentally pressed control, so that's the crouch. like they need to work on the crouch the front limbs look kind of weird the movement is off it's uh, yeah a little bit too sharp on the end yeah it looks kind of like broken but they're gonna work on it so yeah that's uh, what to expect uh, for a demo there's definitely some things missing, 
of course, and something's, uh, you know, broken. That's the idle animation. That's another idle animation. It's kind of like a yawn and stretch. I like it. I like the idle animations. They're nice. Some sounds are not currently implemented. Like footsteps. There is no underwater sound filter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of a little bit bugs out when you press control on the water. Oh, hides the HUD. And P shows you player list. I wonder if that even works, the kick. We'll see if somebody joins. I'm gonna kick them and see if it works. <laughs> There's a day-night cycle with N, you get night vision. When you press H, you get the album. You can open the photo mode. There we go. Uh, this uh, photo mode kind of reminds me of the Draconia. If you can have free camera. Move it around with rust keys. Nice. That that's actually kinda nice photo mode. Not gonna lie. Like for a demo, this is really nice. And with X you take a photo. Hmm. Let's uh just take a photo. Nice. G. Let's check out the album. Enter is to ch select. You can see the photo. Okay. Nice. I, I actually like that. That's really cool. Let's hear the calls. So, one. That was like a broadcast. And two. That's friendly. Three. Aggressive. And four is like a kind of like help. Uh, calls are really nice. I like them. They're very unique, like the creature. We have the Aurora Borealis. Northern Lights. Beautiful. I always love games that use it. So pretty. And the night isn't too dark. Yeah, I can I can see around me. And yeah, there is no fall damage. So you can pretty much go to the tallest peak, jump down, and you'll be fine. I actually don't know if I die to starvation or dehydration. This game reminds me of other games, like the customization, reminds me of Beast of Bermuda. Photo mode, reminds me of Dragonia. The creature itself kind of reminds me of Adols. Oh, somebody joined? Who are you? What are you doing here? Can I kick you out? I don't think I can kick them out. A night vision is pretty cool. The range is pretty big, actually. Oh, I think I kicked them. Or they left. Who knows. I just wanted to see if it works. I, I didn't mean to be rude. This is also cool. They have like a weather system. It's snowing right now. Look at it. Snowing, guys. So yeah, there's a uh, snowing storms. I don't know if there's fog. I haven't really seen fog. Hey, we have footsteps on the snow. So that's something. Look at that. You can see the footmarks on the snow. That's really nice. Oh, there's snow on me as well. That's really cool. I like that. This waterfall looks kind of like a jello. But yeah, waterfalls are really hard to do. I think the water flowing down is too slow. 
And also this texture kind of makes it looks look like a jello. Oh, oh, snow food suns in the water. Okay, yeah, yeah, they need to, <laughs> they need to fix that definitely. Yeah, from distance that waterfall doesn't look that bad. So that's the ocean. Wanna see something? Algae. There's like actually algae here. That's actually nice. But yeah, uh, the ocean is pretty empty right now. That's why it, it isn't that big. There we go. I'm gonna probably die soon. <laughs> oh yes, there we go. There is starvation. Nice. Oh, it's really fast. Look at that. That's too damn fast, in my opinion. There you go, Vanessa. You get my body as well. <laughs> okay, we have a river here. Looks nice. Yeah, there's some uh, problems with the IQ system, but they are working on those. Well, my review on this demo is that it is very pretty. The mechanics function well. There are some little problems that they're gonna fix nevertheless. So I don't see them as a bad problems. For demo, this is a very good demo. The creature looks unique. The sounds... <laughs> are unique and good. The movement feels good. Lots of, you know, places to explore for a small map. Like, it's it's not that big. For being quite small map, it is really good. For demo, this is really good. I give it a 8 out of 10. So yeah, overall good. There's still some mechanics missing and I can't wait to see like uh, the stats and territories and den decoration uh, and of course uh, world bosses and defending your territory. We definitely need some variety. It's kind of nice that the first creature is omnivore so you can decide to be either plant eater or kill other people to eat them so yeah i i say this game has potential but yeah because the game is a demo and the player base is kind of low uh, that is the main problem at the moment because yeah the world seems pretty Im empty right now and there isn't that much to do that is it for this uh, demo review and the demo is free on steam so you all can check it out i recommend checking it out definitely what do you guys think about the untamed tell me in the comment section below this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like that helps a lot if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing it is completely free Thanks for watching, see you on the next one, and moi moi!